And everything between us is good I'm right in this cloud, baby Ready to fly, but before I take another step Would you catch me if I fall for you? Cause I'm falling I'm falling, I'm falling I'm so used to standing So used to being on my own But this thing is new, babe It feels like I'm losing control If you catch me when I fall for you Cause I'm falling I'm falling, I'm falling Will you promise to be there Stay by my side always Five. The smell of your perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. I know that I'll be a mess the second that I see you. You won't be surprised. It happens every time. It's nothing new. It's always on a night like tonight. I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes Oh, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness after all this time, I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless It started when you said hello Just did something to me And I've been in a daze Ever since the day that we met you take the breath out of my lungs, can't even fight it And all of the words out of my mouth without even trying And I Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and my honor to Everyone, very good. <laughs> day 
one, you've been my partner in crime, my tutor, because everyone knows that you're smarter than I am. <laughs> my roommate and my best friend. <laughs> oh, I said I was going to do this. You've been... You're good, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Okay, try. You've been by my side helping me get through the small problems and the big ones too. All right. The one I had banana fights in the living room with. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> and the one who I could always count on to disappear in the bathroom when it was time to clean her room. <laughs> Since the day we were born, you were my personal, you have been my personal angel. And I thank God every day. I thank God for giving me the most selfless and determined and beautiful sister anyone could ask for. I'm so happy you found a guy that will take care of you and Cannon like you've always done for everyone else. Someone that doesn't mind cooking with you or dancing with you in the kitchen like no one is watching. <laughs> and you will go on Alan's adventures with you. You have found a man that appreciates and loves you like I have for the last 30 years. Nothing can break the bond I have met that Brittany and I have mastered. It's crazy to think that my other half, the one person I can, that can finish my sentences, always knows what I'm thinking and has been through every aspect of life to me, is now someone else's half. Brian, I am very grateful this happens to you. Well, it's only been four and a half years that we've spent getting to know each other. I think it's safe to say that we've come a long way. Thanks for being the type of guy that will drop anything to help a friend, especially if it involves softball. <laughs>
are reliable. When I asked Ryan to be my daughter's godfather, he took it to a whole new level. He's never missed a birthday in six years. That kind of person to find is one in a billion. Integrity. Ryan has had my back and always will. Whether I'm right or wrong. To the extreme that when he had his shoulder surgery, he came to watch one of our softball teams play. And surprise, surprise, a fight almost broke out. His mom literally had to grab him and keep him from coming out to have my back. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Endless. I know that no matter what the future brings, for us we will always have each other's back and our family's back. Because his family is my family and vice versa. Natural. Nothing has ever been forced between us. We've never had to work at our friendship. It was like from the day we met, we were destined to be best friends. D. Dick. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in the back, keep your mouth shut. I said, I said Dick. I can't be friends with anybody that isn't a dick sometimes. Because no one can be happy go lucky all the time. Or they're just plain fake. And Ryan is plenty of a dick for me. <laughs> and apparently for me too. Simply sometimes just sitting on the couch and watching Sports Center is enough for us. H. Honesty. Ryan and I have never been afraid to be honest with each other. When we're pissed at each other, when life sucks, when things are great, we never sugarcoat anything, even if it almost leads to a fist fight. True. I. Shit, another I. Uh, how about, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> also the most common phrase used in Ryan and I's friendship. <laughs> Pretty much. P. Pain. Yeah, pain. I made a decision five years ago to move back to Michigan so that my family would have an opportunity to see my kids grow up. I look back at that decision a lot. And I can honestly say that it was probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Because my closest family is right here. And it pains me to know that I made that decision. However, Ryan stuck by me during that decision, since that decision, and moving forward. That to me is what friendship is. And Ryan checks all the boxes. I hope you can say the same for me. I'm almost done with the mushy shit, so take a drink, <laughs> sit back, and there will be another joke soon enough. <laughs> the first time I met you again, I knew this day was going to come. I used to be able to say that I know Ryan better than anyone, including his mama. And we all know how much of a mama's boy Ryan is. <laughs> I can't say that anymore, because he has finally found someone worthy of sharing his life with. There's a different sound in his voice when he talks about you or Ken. Every time we talk on the phone, I can feel him waiting for me to ask how you guys are doing. Ryan checked his ego at the door for you guys. That's how I knew you were the one. I remember when we first met, and you were scared as shit that I wouldn't like you. Because basically Ryan told you I could snap my fingers and make this end. Well, it turns out I don't really like you. 
I love you because you're family too. That being said, I'd like to promise you two things. First of all, that Brian and I will never go out and get a beer. Ever in <laughs> Second, is that you ever need anything, I'm only a phone call away. Things can get hard sometimes, and it can be nice to talk to someone who knows him as well as you do. I'll always be here for you. Cannon, I'll always be here for you. You guys are my family now. Everybody raise your glass up. For Brittany's sake, I hope Ryan lasts as long tonight as my battling speech. <laughs>